with the meditations next we see one nice problem asked in nbh and phd 2020 it's a part a problem and it's a very very interesting problem regarding uh, roots of the polynomial okay so let's see how to uh, approach this problem how many real solutions does the equation f of x equal to 0 have where f of x is defined as follows f of x equal to summation i equal to 1 to 2020 i square by x minus i okay so so let's uh, try to understand its roots uh, so it is given that f of x is uh, this expression so basically it looks like this 1 by x minus 1 plus 4 by x minus 2 plus 9 by x minus 3 and finally for i equal to 2020 you got 2020 square by x minus 2020 okay so now what you can do you can uh, clear the denominator by taking the lcm so lcm of these uh, polynomials will be this uh, product product j equal to 1 to 2020 x minus j and the numerator so here you have x minus 1 so here you will get all product of the remaining uh, uh, factors x minus 2 into x minus 3 and so on now for the second term you have x minus 2 therefore here you will get x minus 1 into x minus 3 everything except this x minus 2 everything will come here right so in general so denominator is this part is fine numerator will be so for each you you're going to get some polynomial here so summation i equal to 1 to 2020 these numbers going to be as it is there so i put i square into the i'm i'm right away writing the ith term so suppose you see here uh, there will be i square by x minus i this term will be here when what happens when you do uh, when you take the uh, like lcm of the denominators uh, so basically you need to uh, here only this factor won't come except x minus i all the remaining factors will come with the i square okay when you clearing the denominator so what, what so like so we got i square x minus 1 up to x minus i minus 1 then x minus i plus 1 to x minus 2020 so this hat means that this uh, factor is not there this factor is missing okay so this is some just a simple simplification of clearing the denominator now uh, you see that f of x equal to this expression and f of x is, is a vanishes at the at some point x if one only if the numerator should vanish at that point that is our one, one observation so for that reason we want to understand the roots of the numerator so we define g of x to be the numerator separately so summation i equal to 1 to 2020 i square and uh, like so you won't get this x minus i term here so we take product j equal to 1 to 2020 but j should not equal to i x minus j so this uh, product is precisely this product okay so now like you, if you notice like uh, there are 2020 terms so each of the term is a polynomial because it is a pr uh, product of 2019 many linear factors this each terms okay so i take uh, each this uh, this term entire term to be j of x okay and each j of x is a polynomial of degree 2019 okay because there are 2019 linear factors okay except i all the numbers are coming between 1 to 2020 so each of them are degree 2019 polynomial so when you sum all of them you will get uh, still degree 2019 polynomial because uh, like you see the leading coefficient will be some non-zero number a positive number indeed so like there's some will uh, remain of degree 2019 okay okay so let's look at the ga of x so ga of x is i square times product j equal to 1 to 2020 j naught equal to x minus j okay now yeah as we as i said above f of x equal to 0 if one only g of x equal to 0 because anyway denominator cannot vanish so f of x equal to 0 means that only the numerator has to vanish numerator is what precisely our g of x okay 
therefore f of x equal to 0 if and only if g of x equal to 0 to understand the solutions of f of x equal to 0 equivalently we understand the solutions of g of x equal to 0 now i want to understand so clearly these numbers looks like vanishing at this uh, like we have x minus j kind of factors and where j is very so over integers so we want to like uh, understand what happened at various integers okay so now j of k equal to 0 if k not equal to i why because in gi you have all the x minus j factors for j between 1 to 2020 except for j equal to i <coughs> therefore j of k equal to 0 if k not equal to i maybe we, we just put the 1 less than i equal to k less than i equal to 2020 and k not equal to i so for all such values you will get this is 0 and for if k equal to i what will you get you have to substitute i here you will get i square at this constant i square times product j equal to 1 to 2020 j naught equal to i i minus j okay now this number if we calculate it separately so basically this i minus j okay so i minus j will be positive if j is less than or equal to j is less than i okay anyway i equal to j is not allowed so this is positive if j is less than i and this is negative if j is greater than i therefore we do we split this uh, product into two product summation j equal to 1 to i minus 1 i minus j into product j equal to i plus 1 to 2020 i minus j okay so now this will give you positive sign this will give you negative sign okay this will be a negative number basically uh, i mean this won't be a base i mean this will be a positive number for sure uh, we, this is uh, whether negative or not it like the sign of this number will be minus 1 whole power 2020 minus i okay because each of them is a negative number so you are multiplying 2020 minus i many num many negative numbers here okay therefore the sign of this number will be uh, minus 1 whole power 2020 minus i this is positive this is positive therefore sign is determined by this quantity okay so if this is positive then the this number is a positive number if this is negative then this number will be a negative number okay therefore the sign of g i of i is minus 1 power 2020 minus i so we'll we'll see we substitute some values so sign of g 1 of 1 is minus 1 power 2019 that is negative sign of g2 of 2 is minus 1 power 2018 that is positive so if you keep going the sign of g2020 of 2020 is minus 1 power 0 positive so negative positive negative positive negative it's like it is alternating sign is alternating that is what we are trying to understand from here so now we also observe that you substitute a we like you take uh, 1 less than or equal to j less than or equal to 2020 so you take such a j and we calculate what is g of j okay g of j will be summation i equal to 1 to 2020 g i of j okay now this is equal to g j of j why because for i if this i is not equal to j in all those g i j you will have the factor x minus j okay so let's uh, quickly look at the definition of j of x in j of x only the factor x minus i is missing okay uh, so all the other factors are there therefore therefore like if you look at uh, uh, if you look at uh, g1 of x g2 of x in everything like when you substitute this uh, j well j value for 1 less than equal to j less than equal to 2020 only for g j of only in g j you will not have the factor x minus j in all the remaining 1 to j minus 1 j plus 1 to 2020 in all those corresponding g i's you will have the factor x minus j so this quantity will vanish so you will left with only g j of j okay so therefore g of j is equal to g j of j 
therefore like uh, yes, we get g of 1 is negative g of 2 is positive finally g of 2020 is positive so g of 1 g of 2 at those point the sign is changing okay so g of 1 is negative g of 2 is positive you see g of j is g of j okay so basically g of 1 g of 2 etc g of 2020 at this point the function g i mean uh, this uh, these points have alternate sign therefore like uh, by rolls theorem in each of these open intervals so if sign if uh, suppose this is positive and this is negative then in the interval open 1 comma 2 the function g will have at least one real root okay that is what rolls theorem statement so in if g of 1 is positive g of 2 is negative therefore in that open interval there will be a root again g of 2 is uh, uh, negative g of 3 is positive therefore in the open interval 2 comma 3 you will have a real root and so on so open 1 comma 2 open 2 comma 3 open 2019 comma open 2020 in each of this interval the function g has at least one real root but uh, there are 2019 many intervals so g has at least 2019 many real roots and g is also a polynomial of degree 2019 therefore these are the only real roots of the polynomial g okay therefore g has exactly 2019 real roots and it is a polynomial of degree 2019 whose all its real roots are whose all its roots are real okay now the roots of f of x and g of x are same that's what we say, see above therefore f has exactly 2019 real roots okay so it is a very nice very interesting problem and the answer is uh, 2019 okay okay guys if you learn something new from this uh, video uh, please click the like button and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you